Hello crafty friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you another Christmas video where we will be decorating and filling some fillable baubles using some resin ornaments along with some polystyrene snow and then just kicking it up a notch with some customized vinyl. So first things first, you want to grab your fillable ornaments and I found that it was easiest to kind of put them together and figure out which side hooks over the top of the other side and that's going to be important when it comes to adding the resin ornaments because we want to make sure that everything can close up nicely once we've stuck them in place. Now, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. This is just the way that worked for me. I grabbed some super glue and I added a small amount of glue to the ornament where I thought it was gonna touch the bauble. Because the bauble's round and the base of these ornaments are flat, it can be a little tricky to kind of position them in place exactly where you want them. So I decided to go ahead and use some glue just on those parts where contact was made. And I was holding it in place thinking I was gonna have to hold this for a few minutes while the glue kind of took effect and bonded it together and then I was thinking I've got four of these to do that is going to take a while so I decided to employ the help of some white tack white tack is just a sticky removable it's it's blue tack that's white <laughs> So I added a small amount to the bottom of this little church structure and that will provide an instant stick so it will hold everything in place and then the glue should hopefully dry and provide that really firm long lasting hold. So I felt like that worked really well and you can see the blue tack. I went ahead and did this to all of my ornaments but because I'm going to be adding the polystyrene snow that will cover any of the areas where the blue tack can be seen so I wasn't too concerned about that. So I added a little Labrador dog and a Christmas tree in this one. The last one was of course a snowman and then for the fourth one I decided to use these little kind of London, I'm not from London but I am from England, um, so I decided to use these little kind of traditionally English, you know, the letterbox and the phone box. I actually glued those together before I glued them inside of my bauble. So then I went ahead and added some polystyrene snow. I was so careful to cut just a small snip in the side of that bag, but I still ended up with those little polystyrene balls everywhere. But there we go, it's kind of festive and fun. <laughs> so I'd added a few too many to this one. I tipped a few of them out and then once I was happy with how everything looked, I just pressed those two halves together. I didn't add any glue or anything. They do kind of snap together quite firmly. And then also when you go ahead and add the tie, which these comes with uh, little brown twine ties, you thread that through both sides of the bauble. So that's just something else that's kind of helping to keep everything together. So I uh, applied that through, kind of looped it back on itself so it was nice and secure and then tied a knot at the top so we have a little hanging ornament. I went ahead and did the same thing for all four and you could totally stop here but I think it's really nice to be able to just kick these up a notch with some vinyl. So I moved into working in my canvas workspace. This is the compatible kind of online workbook for the electronic cutting machine that I have. I measured the surface of my baubles and then created a circle that matched the size of those and this is just to be used as a guideline so I know how big to create my font. So I just went through the pre kind of coded fonts and typed out the phrases that I wanted on each of these. For the first one I'm working with the snowman, I wanted let it snow and I decided to do this as three separate text boxes so I could arrange them exactly where I wanted them. I could kind of resize them and make sure that everything fits inside of that circle that we created as our guideline. And then once I had all three of them written out, so let, it and snow, I decided to group those just by highlighting each of them and then applying the uh, group setting. So that meant I could resize them in one piece and it would look exactly as I wanted it. Now for the next one, I actually went to the logo section 
of my studio. If you have the same one as me, you'll be able to find this, but there are similar in all of the different studios. And you can also go ahead and buy um, or get a free SVG file, which is a cutting file that you can use in your electronic cutting machine. So for that pre, uh, kind of pre-arranged one, <laughs> I went for a piece and that will match with the church. And then I went for a nice bold font here for Molly, which is the name of my sister's Labrador. You've probably seen her on my Instagram stories at Crafty Not Shifty, along with my dog Dexter. And I wanted to have that ornament, that Labrador ornament for my sister. So then here, this is for my kind of London themed bauble. I'll be sending this as a gift to one of my US friends. And I just wanted to put love from London on this because I felt that really fitted with the letterbox and the phone box that are kind of synonymous with London. So I knew that I wanted to cut these out of different coloured vinyls and I'd be using the Style Tech Crafts Transparent Glitter Vinyl which is great for these projects because it allows kind of the shine of the glitter but it's also kind of transparent so it doesn't overpower the bauble. So I went ahead and deleted those circles that were just there as a guideline and then I lay my vinyl down onto my mat and ran it through my die cut machine and then I went ahead and weeded out all of the internal pieces of the letters and pulled away any of the vinyl I didn't need. I lay some transfer tape over the top and burnished using that small burnishing tool. And then I just grabbed my scissors and I applied some small cuts, of course being careful not to snip into the vinyl. And this is just going to help us lay that vinyl down on this curved surface. So you might notice I've actually got a small roll of washi tape underneath my bauble and I was just using that as a way to hold this curved surface in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and push down the transfer tape and you'll see that those little slits that we made kind of make it easy to work in small pieces and curve around the bauble rather than having one flat piece that you're kind of fighting with. And then once I've applied a small amount of pressure I'm able to peel away that transfer tape and just leave behind the vinyl. So I think if you are going to be working with vinyl on a curved surface my top tip would be to snip away at the transfer tape. And I'll just show you here with this one, it's a little easier, uh, a little easier to see on camera because it's a bolder colour. You can go ahead and add those snips after you apply the centre of your transfer into the centre of your bauble. You could see it'd be quite difficult just to go ahead and press this down, but once we add a couple snips in place, we've got smaller sections to work with and we can go ahead and press those down exactly where we want them. You don't always need to do that, you can see with this side here, because I didn't have anything between the L of love and the L of London, I was able to just kind of fold that tape and then press everything down. And then you can peel everything away, it comes away nice and clean, it won't leave any residue on your bauble, and you just have that beautiful text left behind. So then for Molly, because this one was nice and bold, I actually didn't need to go ahead and do any trimming. I was able to just um, kind of work with it and gently press with my thumb. And I love the colour of this vinyl. It is so pretty. It actually kind of matches my nail varnish, um, so I'm quite jealous. I, uh, I would have liked to have kept this one for myself. <laughs> And then for the final one, this is that pre-designed logo that I used, the piece. And you can see how all of those letters are connected together and it just looks really pretty on here. And again, just press that down and then peel away the vinyl. You can see I got a little air bubble in the tail of the E. I'll notice it in just a second. And I just went ahead and gently peeled up that section that had kind of stuck down incorrectly and just smoothed that out with my thumb and you would never know if I hadn't have told you. Okay, so there we have it. That is the four custom-made DIY fillable baubles that have just been kicked up a notch and made slightly different to anything else that you will see anybody else making with these same ingredients, I guess, because we've added that customization with the vinyl, which I think is really fun. 
So I hope you have all enjoyed this project. If you have, be sure to check out the link in the description below where I'll link to these products. And if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. You can go ahead and tap the subscribe button and also ring the bell if you wish to be notified whenever I post a new video. On screen right now are a couple more videos that I think you might enjoy. If you haven't already seen them, go ahead and tap on the thumbnails to be taken straight through to the video. And I hope to see you back here again soon. That is all for me today. Bye for now.